Good evening and welcome to Back Chat. I'm your host, Timo Madima. Uh, this evening we're chatting to LJ Van Zale. He's in the building with us this evening. I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome, good evening, and welcome to Back Chat. Yes, sir. It is a Monday. Uh, so we're going to have some uh, powerful chats. Obviously, Olympic Games are on underway. Uh, so that will be the main conversation, topic of conversation uh, this evening. So good evening to everybody. LJ Van Zale is in the building. I'm gonna just accept him in and we're gonna get going. Hey! Yep, it is a Monday, like I said, because so we're gonna have a good time, good chat. We've got a legend in the building. Uh, welcome to everybody who's just jumped on. LJ! Good evening, Timber. How are you doing? I'm well and you, brother. How are you doing? I'm, I'm sad, Timber. Hey! It's been tough. Not, uh, yeah, not not only because um, of yesterday's fourth place, and also I'm sad for Wade at the moment. But we'll get to that. We'll analyze his race and uh, also the season he's got. Mm. Um, and you, are you following the Olympics? Of course. You know, um, uh, Friday, last week Friday, we were chatting uh, on the podcast, uh, talking of athletics. But yeah. I've been following everything, analyzing everything. So I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, so just to get the people who are watching uh, in tune with what's happening, uh, we'll talk about the races that have happened as well as the races that are, that are to come. So this will be an Olympic edition. But uh, before that, LJ, I have to do a proper introduction so that the people who are watching know exactly who I'm, I'm chatting to, uh, the legend that's in the building. Is that okay? You're welcome, Timber. <laughs> hey, LJ, you're going to finish people's data. Your CV is too long. I had to cut some things out, uh, but I, I left the good ones. Uh, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, listen up. With us this evening, we've got LJ Fansale. He is, listen up, Olympic Games 400 meter hurdles finalist, World Championship 400 meter hurdles bronze medalist. World Championship 4x400 meter silver medalist. World Continental Cup. 400 meter silver medalist, world under 20, 400 meter hurdles uh, gold medalist, uh, three time, uh, S, uh, three time 400 meter hurdle, African Championship gold medalist. Uh, we've got all African Games 400 meter gold medalist, Commonwealth Games 400 meter gold medalist. I'm gonna leave the other ones. I know there's a silver as well, as well as seven times SA 400 meter hurdles champion. Ladies and gentlemen, LJ Ponte. <laughs> how have you been LJ how, how are you keeping up um, obviously a lot is happening in your life um, at the moment but how, how have you been in general in general Timba I'm doing well um, I'm just missing uh, to be in the classroom with the students yeah, yeah. Because we do online teaching at the moment at uh, all the universities. Um, yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, I really miss that the interaction with students. Yeah. Besides that, um, vet is in uh, Sapporo for just over a week now. Uh -huh. So uh, I'm here with my two boys, Gideon and Louis. Yeah, yeah. Also doing well. Um, but besides that, I'm doing well. Um, I'm really enjoying the Olympic Games. Um, yeah. But I've just noticed again, Timba, uh, sport, especially <laughs> athletics, it can be kind. Uh, mm. we, we saw that with, with the high jump. Yeah. But on the other hand, it can also be super cruel. Uh, super cruel. I, I just read uh, Sandy Morris' uh, whole statement, what happened to her. She, she got injured. Mm. Um, uh, you know, Bromel from the 100 meters. Let's just focus on other events as well. Let's let yeah. Sam Kendrick. Mm. Uh, he's one of the favorites to medal now. And unfortunately, he's, he's in isolation now. And he, yes. obviously, he cannot jump. Yeah. Um, I think it's more. Um, we can look at all the false stars. You know, if, mm. if, if to get to Tokyo at this point is tough enough. You know, yeah. all the tests, all the, the whole rip model. And now you get there, now you get disqualified. So, and yes. also some athletes uh, in the first round in the 100, for example, it was a clear false start from the British athlete. I'm not going to mention names. <laughs> and then the, the, the athlete from Togo and also from uh, Nigeria got disqualified. So, it, the consistency was, 
was a bit uh, inconsistent, was a bit annoying. Yeah. But besides that, I'm doing it at the moment of the Olympics. Um, we will discuss a few topics. Um, but in general, I'm, I'm happy, clappy. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's, you know the, the nice thing about Olympics, and I mean, this one, this one we, we are focusing on Olympics because of uh, this is the main uh, subject and talk. And we've heard you on here before where we talked about, you know, your, your career in depth and, you know, the journey towards all that stuff. Uh, but I mean, I think before we get into in depth into everything, I want to chat about... Um, the whole Olympic experience, you know, that, that's why last week at Chusum Puang, he's been to Olympics. Uh, this week, it's yes. you. You've been to the Olympics. Uh, just to Actually, give a, a, a... By the way, yeah. uh, I shared a room in, in, uh, in 2008 with Tusu. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it was actually super fun to have him as a roommate. And <laughs> also, um, it's also important who you're sharing a room with. If you're sharing a room yeah. with, with an athlete that's, that don't adjust, uh, two time zones that can be uh, yeah. issue. and also yeah, yeah. you need a, 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 just a decent calm athlete that also respect your space yeah I, yeah. I spoke to her this, her this morning she's sharing um, a room a very tiny room in, in support with, with Gerda Stein and mm. uh, it's so beautiful to see that they shift at the beds and they also do respect if if Gerda or Vets want to go for a, a jog or a stretch in the gym they don't switch on all the lights yeah, uh, that's, yeah, that's very important. Um, but to, to get to your question, yes, you spoke to Tuso last week. Um, yeah, let's. It's, it's, besides the the, the the athletics part, the performance, yes, uh, Timba. But in athletics, you you making friends also for life. Um, yeah, like myself and, and Tuso, for example, we shared a room in 2012. I shared a room with Willem Willem Kurz, and 2016 it was still Reinhardt. And yeah, yeah. still up to date, if, if I see that athlete, uh, we sh we're still sharing experience. Yeah. I see a room of, of, of Jose Makuena, for example, numerous, uh, uh, numerous occasions, uh, the late Mbeleni Yeah. Now, if, if that's, 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 a, that's a type of, of, of experience the Olympics uh, offer to athletes. And, and I think the athletes must, must, must cherish that. It's, it doesn't last long. Um, mm. It's... It's, if you're lucky, you make two Olympic cycles, and athletes need to use that. Absolutely, and I think I mean uh, what you're saying is so important because uh, you know sometimes we, as a nation, we get so focused on like medals and medals, and you know I just want to touch on the the, the side of that uh, the challenge of actually being in a different country. You are away from everything that's normal. Everything is super overwhelming. I mean, McDonald's uh, any time of the day, all these weird and strange things, you know, always at your excess. And then there's still the performance and still trying to train and traveling and moving. Can you just touch a bit on that? And then, um, yeah, I think it will be cool to learn. Yes. Um, as we spoke about it last week, the, the lights at the Olympic Games are always very bright. There's, there's, yeah. there's unlimited food, there's unlimited... Um, privileges mm. but then again uh, you spoke about performance now we must just remember um, at the Olympic Games we, all, we always want to count the medals this and this we want to beat five medals or ten or whatever yeah. but we must just remember in, in the, the team sport that we used to let's say rugby and uh, swimming there's, there's, there's a handful of, of countries that really really participate in, in that specific sport rugby 10, 12 countries swimming, we can count, let's say, 40 odd. Yeah, yeah. Athletics, <laughs> athletics timber, um, at this Olympic Games, there's 196 countries. Sheesh. And also, every country can send three athletes. So the, the pool of competition, and the, it's, it's, it's just next level. It's, it's difficult to, to, um, to measure us with, with rugby or football, yeah. for example. There's just too many athletes. All, mm. Every human being can run. That's, that's a given. So we must just take note of that before we start just counting medals. Um, yeah. And also, there's, there's, there's several challenges and factors, external factors, as you just said, yeah. that can play a role. Um, there's resources. There's training yes. methods. There's training mm. camps. Uh, mm. you know, uh, uh, this year... Um, then all the COVID testing and protocol, that's also an issue. 
yeah. so um, uh, to, to, to take that all in consideration, we must just be gentle with our assets. Yeah. Uh, and also celebrate. Um, even a semi final for us, they were the top 24 in the world out of the yeah. 96 countries. It's, it's still very good. You know what, LJ? It's, it's, and I mean, I think it's good for us to be honest because let's just uh, break it down. You know this well. Um, you've been to Olympics. You compare yourself, let's just say we compare LJ Fonseil to Dai Green, right? Um, this is uh, same athlete. You might be a bit higher, run about the same level, let's just say, just to, to make it simple. Uh, the support he gets towards getting a gold medal or a bronze or a silver at Olympics compared to the support that LJ Fonseil gets uh, from South Africa to get a silver or a bronze. And uh, how, how is it? Yeah, it's always, um, it's, also not, it's always nice to have the resources to back in. Um, and yes, it will enhance your performance, definitely. Um, yeah. To have training camps, let's say, in, in St. Moritz and Switzerland, like the middle distance athletes are doing. Yeah. But then again, um, I always remind myself of the East Africans, Ethiopia, mm -hmm. Eritrea, Kenya. They also, yeah. they also have limited of resources, limited of training mm -hmm. camps. Um, and they're performing. They are really, yeah. they, the hunger must never go away. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know if you, if you read the article about the, the Fiji Seven scheme. They yeah. traveled with, with limited of resources all the way from Fiji to, to Tokyo. There was no flights, and the flights that were offered was, was so expensive. Then they decided to, to go on a, on, a cargo, uh, um, on a cargo flight with, with frozen fish. That's, Come on. For me, that's amazing. You know, that's, that that's yeah. shows me uh, they, were, they were hungry. They want to be in the top three because they missed out in Rio, and that's why they they Olympic champions. Hey man, the, the, you know the the Fijians. Uh, I think that, that's that's such a brilliant story that you 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 brought up there because end of the day, you know, it's all about how do we balance it. You know, we have to balance the hunger side because what you're saying is so true, but it's too spectacle. You know, you've got the Kenyans who come here with limited resources and they perform. <laughs> At, an, at a phenomenal but, level, Ethiopians as well. And then you've got the other side where you've got Russians, Americans, okay. Germans, who are literally the opposite spectrum, but they're also getting results. Where are we? Uh, let's, go, let's just go one step back. So mm -hmm. we, are, we are at three athletes in the Olympic 100-meter semifinal. Amazing. We Sean, we yeah. had a gift, and we yeah. also had a carnage. Yeah, um, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. There's plenty more of, of talent somewhere, and yeah, and look at our school system. Our school system currently, oh, okay, not this 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 year or last year. It's it's amazing. Full. We always have full teams. The World Junior Team were announced what three weeks ago, and the World Youth always win medals. Yeah. But my yeah. question is is always how do we keep that athletes in our system, mm. that they that they will produce medals in 2028 in, in Los Angeles, and also in mm. Paris three years from now. So nice. that's always a challenge. We, we've got to you go to any local, <laughs> let's forget Pathor, let's, let's forget Gauteng. Let's go to yeah. the Eastern Cape, where yeah. actually Soaks are coming from, myself as well. Yeah, yourself. And yeah. also is coming from King Williamstown. He's running tomorrow in heat, uh, heat one, by the way. So yeah. are we doing enough to to pick or just to not to not to bring them to Gauteng to a different school or different no that's that's not what I'm saying yeah do we have some sort of system just to let's go to to highlight them or to flag yeah. them listen this athlete how can we help you to 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 represent South Africa in let's say what seven years from now yeah the issue I always have Timber um we only start in preparing in the same calendar year as, as the Olympics. Now it's Olympics, now we need to go on this and this and this. It doesn't work very yeah. well. Yeah. So we, need to, we need to nurture him from, from start uh, and, start, and start building up. And my, my, my second issue, Temba, um, where are our female sprinters? We've got two athletes yes. now from Namibia. Yeah. In, in the final, the one just broke the world youth record, Christine Mboa. Mm. And the other one is Peters Masselingi. 
uh, yeah. to forty. So they they still Ooh. young ladies. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is, yeah, we we lack of female athletes. Uh, we need to investigate, and also um, and start start generating future stars. Absolutely, I think, uh, man, it's it's such a big topic. I remember I tried to even do my master's degree on where that hole between uh, juniors uh, and uh, senior level. Obviously, there's a lot of elements that are involved in that yes. for both male and female. Mm. Uh, I mean, they struggled with my masters. They're like, listen, we don't have enough information in South Africa to prove uh, anything or to support your 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 your, your thesis. You know, um, you know, it, it's, it's a difficult one because they don't know in South Africa. There isn't enough research on it. Uh, we can't they put fact not. to it. We can't say twenty percent are leaving because they need employment. Fifteen are leaving because they don't like athletics anymore. Nine. We can't. We don't have stats. We don't have numbers. We just know they disappear. And that's where it ends, you know? Yes, um, you're 100% right. Uh, we need to do more research on it. And also and start development. I don't, uh, and they, they, they will be, I'm sure they will be companies that will um, fund a, a, a development scheme, a grassroots yeah, development, yeah. As, as, as they stated in the long-term development plan. But ours, is it really happening? I, I'm, I'm not sure. That's very true. Very, very true. Um, LJ, we need to, we need to, it's going to be something we're going to have to dig into. But before that, now, let's dig into uh, what's been happening at the Olympics. Uh, obviously, um, a lot of, a lot of action. Uh, day one, we started with, uh, 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 what is it? Um, Dominique Scott in the 5,000 meter. Obviously, that's a tough one. We saw the winner today. Uh, Hassan won that one. Um, very tough one. And then we've, we had the 400 meter hurdles, which I think we can be really proud of. You know, we've got uh, two SA athletes that went there and they both made it into uh, the semifinals. Uh, when they had a bit of a tricky one today, the rain and all that. But Sokakana, what, what, what can you say about Sokakana Zazini? First Olympics, um, 21 years old, semifinals. Remember, just remember, Sokakana got bags of talent. He's the world junior <laughs> champ. He's yeah, the yeah. world junior champ. champ. He's also yeah. the world student silver medalist. Uh -huh. And let's, 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 let's briefly look at his season. He had a mm. okay South African season. He had a 50.2, 50.3. He yeah. had a race in Turku in, in Finland. I think it was 50.7. So he got to the yeah. World, I think World Champs, Olympic Games. With the 50 a 50.1. 50 and he made the semi final with a mm -hmm. 48 99. And he's That's 21 amazing. years old. Amazing so that he's got obvious talent. Yeah. Um, technically, he's, he needs a lot of attention. Uh, he mm -hmm. needs a solid strike pattern. He cannot decide in the race, this is the strike pattern I'm going to follow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, Tema, we, we've got a star for the next seven, eight years. And um, Absolutely. he's got talent. And, and I've seen uh, the first round, his acceleration, the last 40 was just amazing. Yeah. It's, 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 it's impressive because, you know, I mean, to make a semi-final, I think sometimes we, we, we underestimate it. 21 years old, he did it. And, you know, when, when he, before he left, he, he said his goal is to go there, run a season best. He wanted to run a 40, uh, sub-49 uh, and he ran a 48.99. You know, imagine, I wonder what would have happened if he set a different goal. You know, maybe uh, it would have been yeah. a bit different. But, I mean, I think that's something that he can be proud of. To produce a 48 at, at such a high level or competition, shows you're able to step up, you know, and, and that's good. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on because there's other events that uh, were happening as well. Um, be, before I get into the 100 meter, let's talk about the long jump. Rasho Samai, Cheswell Johnson. Yeah, Timba, obviously I'm disappointed, uh, especially um, of Rasho Samai. Um, I'm not a long jump expert, but it just seems like he lost momentum in the last three, four steps before he before hit the acceleration uh, board. Yeah, yeah. And um, as I said, 774, it's way from his best. Um, yeah, it's, it can be various reasons. Um, I'm disappointed, and I think he is also. Yeah. Cheswell Johnson, I, see, I, I saw a photo of him uh, icing his ankle. It seems like he's got an ankle issue. 
Yeah. But um, we also spoke about it in the past. We've had a long, long jump history. Um, hopefully, they can bounce back in the future. Mm. But and yeah, uh, yeah, as I said, that's not the result I was expecting. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a tough season uh, for him. Like I said, he was he was struggling to get over uh, eight to ten. Mm. Um, even though he was doing well in Europe, you know, finishing top three in most competitions. Just that big jump, like you said, you know, those last few steps, just not getting it uh, right on the board. But that's what happens, you know. That's what happens. Some seasons, you just have to fight your way through it. And, yeah. I mean, they did try their best. What it also can be, Tenba, I, I know the track um, is very fast. It's very so fast, it can yeah. Be, it makes obvious sense that if you, if, if you use a certain, uh, um, uh, let's say, strides and, uh, to the pit now with a faster track and a more bouncy track you actually close to the board and you have to adjust yeah. uh, your strides just to to eat the plan that's that true. can be an issue but but then again mm -hmm. um they they were in tokyo if they yeah they were in tokyo about a week in advance they were time to fix it but unfortunately that's that's part of the game part of the game all right let's move on lj fanseo uh, next up, uh, 400 meter. Um, let's touch on that. Obviously, we had three athletes again. You know, we can be proud of that. Tabelo uh, Pora, Zagiti Nene, as well as uh, Wade Van Nieker. Um Your thoughts, please. Yeah, Timbo, um, I've watched the race over and over. <laughs> Initially, I thought Norman had a false start or a flyer. Yeah. So... The first 10, 50 meters out of the blocks, mm. Norman was on Wade's shoulder. I saw. And I thought there will, there will be a second gun, there will be a callback, and it didn't happen. So then mm -hmm. Wade had to work very, very hard until 3.50 to go, over yeah. until 3.50. And then he was just under pressure from the blocks. Um, and then he gave his all in the, the last 30, 40 meters. He, he was just out of, out of gas. But then again, Tempo, um, let's also look at his season. Um, he discontinued um, uh, was a Boston 200-meter street race. Yeah. Uh, Budapest, he didn't start. Uh, he mm -hmm. had one solid race. In, I think it was in uh, Madrid, 44-5 or 44-6. Mm -hmm. So his build-up towards the Olympic Games were not as planned, I think. Yeah, um, and also like, a little bit his confidence were not, not like... Uh, at, at his best. Remember, he also yeah. changed coaches. He, he moved he to the United yeah. States. To, he changed coaches uh, to, to join a group in the United States. That yeah. can be a reason. Besides the people. training program, it's a different environment. It's different people, culture. There's a whole range of, of factors that can play a role. It's difficult to pinpoint it. Um, but I, I, was, I was really hoping just for a final at least for him. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, but at least he's got a second chance. Uh, on Thursday, there's a relay. I hope they include him in the relay team. Yeah. Uh, together with Akane. And then this is, it's not the end. Um, he can still reach the party with the relay if, if I can have the combinations correct. Um, but yes, again, uh, world record holder. We expect it. He's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Um, uh. Because... Um, yeah, but as I said, uh, sport can be cruel. You can be at the Olympic record holder, world champ, name it, and you can get knocked out in the first round as as the, as the American. Yeah. It can happen. It's, it's part of it, but I must congratulate, number one, uh, Michael Cherry, 44-4. Uh, yeah. Kirani James, uh, I don't know if you followed his career. There was he was impressive. in 16 he was, he was. He was actually for about a year, he was out from Grenada. Mm. He was very sick. Uh, and then uh, Amas Zambrano, um, I mm. admire his kick. He actually Impressive. came from behind the last 150 from Colombia. Strong finish, yeah. Super strong. So, and, and then also uh, uh, Stephen Garner from the Amas. He, he also, he, easy, 44-1, and he actually ran with a T-shirt. So, um, Timo, to ask your question, the, the level at the moment is just, is just high. You know, mm -hmm. the last the last athlete went into this into the final. I think it's forty four, uh, fifty six. Uh, yeah. I, I it is somewhere down with Isaac. Yeah, five um, nine. I think five six, five nine. Yeah, 
and, and if, if you ask my top three for the final, um, Kirani. And I think um, Zambrano has got a good chance. Absolutely. And then uh, Gardner is difficult to pick. Okay, obvious Gardner, but, but I'm really hoping for Isaac Batwala from Botswana. Yeah, yeah. He showed from the first round, all in guts, he just, he just went without. So I think this time Isaac deserves to be on the podium, but uh -huh. he needs to run in the final, flat out. Sheesh. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see that uh, 400 meter. I think it's going to be a tough one. Um, I mean, even if we look at the other guys who ran, um, Zagiti Nene managed to run 45.74, uh, and then Pora ran 45.83. Uh, so uh, the guys, you know, they did try their best. Uh, just wasn't enough to get into uh, the semi finals and obviously finals. All right, uh, LJ, time is moving. Let's move on uh, to the 100. We will take some questions as well now. Um, I know you press for time, so I'm going to try to respect your time, LJ. Uh, 100 meter. Uh, again, we've got three athletes. You mentioned it. Yeah. Three of them make it through but, the heats, make it yeah. to the semis. Thoughts, please. Yeah, as I said, Tema, we've, we've got the depth in, in, in sprinting. Uh, we just need to invest more. Yeah. And more frequent training camps. But just interesting facts. Of the medalists of, of the 100 meters, uh, Jacobs from Italy, he's hey. actually a long jumper. He's actually a long yeah. jumper. So mm. 986. Um, and and uh, De Grasse, he's actually a 400 athlete. Uh, excuse me, 200 athlete. He moved down yeah. recently. He's yeah. got the bronze medal. Uh, Fred Curley, until what, three, four months ago, he, he he's a fond athlete, and this year he decided that he's going to do the one, and yeah. uh, voila, nine eighty four. So the, this shows you uh, if the athlete, if you have the will to, to do it, you can do it. And then again, my thoughts on Arkani, he did really well. Nine nine three, mm -hmm. he was consistent the whole season. He did nothing wrong, but he also said in one of his interviews, the top speed, he could not just get that top speed for five or six meters longer and that cost mm -hmm. him uh, the, the bronze medal yeah it was a tough one i mean yeah i i, I was watching that uh, race i was i was so nervous i, I could man i was and i, I, could and I think he, he, i think he was also nervous remember he also got mm -hmm. a lot of pressure he was our a, a golden um uh hopeful for south africa mm -hmm. and uh, as i said it's, it's so close yeah, he, he, he ran 993 and mm. the grass 989. That's, mm. that's, that's what, 15, 10 centimeters? That's nothing. Nothing, that's nothing. And, uh, yeah, so it, it, it could have worked out other way around, but unfortunately, um, that's is what it is. Yeah, that one doesn't sit leg with me, LJ. I, I don't know. It's like my heart is... My heart is still not right, man. And I mean, it's because, you know, we, we all support Akani and I mean, as South Africans, we wanted um, to see somebody on the podium uh, doing well. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit uh, tough to see. Uh, l let's just take a few comments and then uh, we'll try to wrap it up soon, LJ, because I know you have to get going. Uh, but uh, one of the, the comments here from Cosmic Velocity says, so not a question, but I think we could win gold we have Akani, Patu, Clarence, Chedric, and Wade Van Niekerk. So that's the 4 by 100 meter. I see Johan Smith. Uh, we studied with him at, uh, at uh, Groenkloof. He says, it's good to see fellow B.Ed. student talking about, uh, all about things that matter. Keep it up, Chamba and LJ. Uh, we've got Clinton van der Merwe says, he may say rocks. I see this. The likes of Jane Tebow from New Zealand. She liked that New Zealand comment uh, that you, you talked about Uh and then, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people. I don't think I'll get everybody. G Gabriel Low, Nicole yeah. Low, welcome, guys. Thanks for joining in. Pansayo. Temba, just uh, on uh, Velocity Cosmic, I don't know if, uh, if, it, if it's your real name or not. So <laughs> we have the luxury. Just remember, we have still Anasu and Clarence on standby for the relay. We've yeah. got White and Akani. They both um, want to be on the podium. This is a second yeah. chance. They are yeah. not. They are very good friends. So I think between them and the coach Paul Horis, they can put something together decent uh, in in the East uh, Friday, no Thursday, 
um, and that it's 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 a possibility. Um, yeah. And then also Sean Masanguane, uh, he's also in form ten ten in the semi final. Mm. So we've got like five guys. Unfortunately, yeah. we've just left, uh, Luke Keller is injured. So we've got five yeah. guys, six guys that uh, that that's in, in good condition. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, we're gonna be looking forward to to that big day tomorrow. A lot of athletes. I'm gonna touch on that on the the schedule for tomorrow, and then LJ, I will uh, release you. So tomorrow is the third of August. Um, we've got uh, still coming up. We've got oh, where is this thing now? We still have women's javelin. So Joanne uh, Van Dijk is gonna be throwing tomorrow. Clarence Munya in the 200 meter. Anasa Jombodwan in the 200 meter as well as. Sean Maswangani in the 200 meter, uh, in the men's uh, 400 meter. What else do we have? Uh, and we've got in the, in the short put, we've got uh, Kyle Blechnout as well as Jason Van Ruyen. They're uh, throwing tomorrow. Uh, men's 5,000 meter. We've got Precious Mashela in the rounds, and yeah, ho hopefully we get one of the guys in the semifinals as well tomorrow. And yeah, it's a big day for South African athletics field and track. Definitely, Temba. I'm looking forward. My alarm is set again. Um, I'm standing up just before four to watch the round, support the guys, and that's Same here. from my side. That's that's the least I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I haven't missed anything as well. Uh, those two AMs, four AMs, yeah, it's tough, but it's good, man. We have to support our athletes as the least we can do. LJ Fanseo, uh, thanks so much uh, for joining us. I think it was like a, you know, just uh, it was a quick one, just touching on everything that's happening. We'll have you back on again uh, sometime and then we'll just keep on rounding up quickly and, and uh, touching on the, the athletes that are still to run. Obviously, we still have road running coming up. Red Fansail, Kherda, Stephen Mokoka, Elroy Kalan, Desmond Mokobu. Um, yes. Still a lot. The Walkers, Wayne Sneeman, Mark Mandel. So we will be watching. Thank you, Tim. Thank you for everybody that joined. Um, I'm on Supersport in five minutes on 202. You're watching. I'd like to join me with, uh, yes, with, with Leanne to give my feedback of today's drama and uh, celebrations. I'll be watching, LJ. I'll be watching. Thanks a lot. Take care. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it straight from LJ Van Sale. Uh, it's been good. He's rushing off to do another chat with uh, Supersport uh, just to touch on uh, the Olympics and so on. Amazing guy. I mean, I studied with him. Uh, we ran together. We were part of USA teams, etc., etc. Phenomenal uh, gentleman. Phenomenal guy. Good dad and a good man. I hope you guys uh, were able to catch up and get what you needed to get from this chat. And yeah, we're going to be back again uh, sometime later this week. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate you. Sorry we couldn't take all the questions, but uh, I hope you guys are up to date. Good night and God bless. Yeah.